we've all had more time during the pandemic to tinker around the house. This is my storage room for spare parts. Many of us picking up a pastime to fill the void of isolation. Bored and lonely and just needed something to do. I think I've got everything. But 90-year-old Bill Vicklin didn't go with knitting or scrapbooking to calm his nerves. Vickland is building a plane inside his Arlington, Virginia home. For a guy who's 90 years old living alone, there's not a whole lot to do after you've mowed the lawn once or twice a week. If I'm asked what this is doing in my garage, all I can say is that it's better in the garage than it is in the family room. I'm fitting this altimeter because it isn't perfectly round back here. It's got this offset and I have to cut away part of the instrument panel in order for it to fit in there. Bill Vickland is admittedly no spring chicken. I've been working on it now for about 14, 15 months. Which one was I going to use here? This one here. We are about 75% complete. But he still sees life through the lens of a child. I started building model airplanes when I was nine. I started flying when I was 17. Vicklin's love of planes and their parts evolved into a lifelong infatuation with flight. He began his career as an Air Force jet engine mechanic, after that rocket propulsion engineer, then diverted to humanitarian work on the ground in the 1960s for the polio project in South America, improving the lives of countless children. Vicklin went on to a diplomacy position within the State Department, traveling to the former Yugoslavia to witness and report on atrocities that haunt him to this day. I saw um, women and children who were fetching water from the only water supply in Sarajevo get shot down by snipers from a mile away. He always found comfort on the home front with beloved wife, Joanne. She was the love of my life, uh, best friend I ever had. Um, you know, you're married 62 years, something's got to be working right. In retirement, they nearly perfected the sport of glider racing. With Joanne, his crew chief, they soared the skies, finishing runner-up in three national championships, all the while loving deeply. I was searching through my pictures and found this one and rediscovered how pretty she was. It's beautiful, actually. My wife died six years ago, and I spent four or five years really pretty lonely and began drinking just a little bit and then drinking a little bit more in the evening, and, and then as time went on, it was two, and then pretty soon it was three, until I was stumbling up these stairs, banging against the walls to get into my bedroom, like an old man. And I finally decided, I don't want to do this. So he turned to the only thing that keeps him grounded, it really has given me a great purpose in life. I wonder often, you know, am I going to finish it in time? So I'm going to have to modify this, free it up a little bit. Yeah, that's the way it's supposed to work. This restoration project began an hour west of town, just as the pandemic percolated. My partner and I had uh, been out to the Warrington Air Park. They discovered amid a cluster of hangars an old American champion Citabria. Ragged fabric hanging off the sides. This classic single-engine two-seater bearing no resemblance to the other gleaming machines that are stored and fly out of this rural airstrip. 
Vicklin shows the comforts of home to restore this plane piece by piece. It's going to work. It's just going to take sanding. Family friend Kiara Shokite is helping rehab the fuselage in Vicklin's garage. I've been working on it for uh, nine months. It is really enriching, and there's always something to learn, and there's always something to do. You see how the light reflects on it. That's how you can tell. You don't really understand it until you see it. Like the amount of people that have uh, passed by the garage with seeing an airplane, they're going, what, what's in there? Yeah, I'm going to unhook it. During a critical time in the sanding process, they have to pull the fuselage onto the driveway. OK, that's about it right there. So Vicklin can use natural light to know precisely when to stop smoothing out each layer of paint. They're just disappearing, so it is going to look really good. I'm very happy with it. Now I get some interesting um, spectators at times. They think it's kind of cool. It is kind of cool. But to see the rest of the plane, we need to travel 100 miles to the west. OK. I brought the fender skirts. In this stunning hangar nestled along the West Virginia border resides the aircraft's landing gear and wings. This is John Ayer's place, a flight instructor and Vicklin's plane rebuilding partner. Yeah, let me look inside that. Out here, two old friends can create something hopeful in a time so wrought with worry. Yeah, it's got to pull the skins together and it's got to flare the back end of the rivet just right. Okay. Take a look at it. Perfect. Eventually, Vicklin will haul the fuselage out here to connect the pieces of this remarkable pandemic puzzle. These other two here. I will feel good if I'm able to fly it. And Vicland has every intention of flying the Satapria. Yeah, there we go. But first, he and his friends need to finish it. If all goes right, maybe by the end of the summer. I'm Jay Corp for 7 News.